Well, hey everybody, it's a beautiful day, warmer temperatures, and things are drying up. I got a ditch to dig. Let's get busy. Oh, hey guys, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel, Project Next One. Um, I have got today to dig a trench so I can connect my gas line to the Generac. Uh, it's a, about a 150 foot run, and I'll spin the camera around. Everybody calls this the trash can, but this is actually a 500 gallon in-ground tank. <clears throat> Here's the tank down there. That's the top half with all the um, pressure regulators. Anyway, we're going to tie into this. <clears throat> now the gas line that runs to this so far is on this side. So I'm going to come out over here and come around, do around the corner and run a, run a line all the way over to where the generac is so i <clears throat> want to get all this done today believe it or not uh when i was driving down the road yesterday it was 50 some degrees with work and they were the chemical trucks were putting chemical on the roads and i was like are these guys crazy but believe it or not they're calling for snow again tomorrow <laughs> i'm like no way it's going to be in the 60s here today but they are still holding to their forecast but anyway one form or another i'm going to be getting precipitation tomorrow so my goal is to and let me let me come around here and i'll show you the line that i've got to install um so my goal is to get the trench dug today i'm going to take it down 24 inches and i'm going to run the gas line and after I do that, I've got to partially fill it, and then I've got to run a ground strap. So this is the gas line that we'll be using. I think it's one and a quarter, and uh, it's plastic pipe for the propane gas. So uh, the people from the gas company has already brought this by for me so I can get this installed for them. And then once I get all this buried, they're going to come one day next week and connect both ends, and we'll get the Generac online. So anyway, you know me, let's get busy. So I had a little scare as I was coming through here. I uh, hit what I knew was an old plastic PVC pipe that is no longer in use. Uh, it was what I drained the water from my two heat pumps, the condensation water, and we ran it out back here. I knew we had discontinued using that. I knew I would hit it, but what surprised me was how much water was in it still. Uh, that shocked me. So anyway, that's why all of this is so muddy. But the other thing that has surprised me is I had a cave in. I thought about bringing the ditch witch back, but I think I would make a bigger mess. So I'm just gonna hand dig this out real quick. Uh, I've had a few areas that have caved in that I've, that you see I've cleaned out. So we'll get this area cleaned out and then we'll be ready to put down some pipe. So let me go play in the mud here. This is gonna be messy.
Okay, so after you put the pipe down, you have to rake over about two inches of dirt, which I am doing now. You want to just pull enough in just to cover the gas pipe up. So I'm just putting that in and then just kind of lightly tapping it down. And you can see it's about, about an inch or so over top of the gas line. So we'll get all of this done, and then we have to come back and put the ground strap. The ground strap cannot be up against the pipe. So that's the reason for putting the dirt barrier over top. So we'll get this done, then we'll come back with the ground strap. Okay, step one done, the gas line is down. I've got about a two inch barrier in between, so now it's time to run the ground strap. So we'll do that next. Okay, well now the ground strap is laid in. And so now it's to cover the trench back up complete. So this one I'm gonna do the easy way. I'm gonna go grab the tractor, put the bucket on, and have a little fun. <laughs> this is the easy part. Well guys, that job wasn't near as bad as I thought it might be. Uh, special thanks out to RJ Tool Rentals uh, here in the Brosville area. Uh, really appreciate them hooking me up with a really nice piece of equipment. It's the first time I've ever used one with the tracks on it instead of the wheels. Uh, it really does a lot nicer job uh, for uh, doing the ditch digging. Um, anyway, once I got past that, putting a line in was a piece of cake. And um, I wanna show you how I've been instructed to leave it. Uh, so they wanted me to leave the last part of it uncovered uh, so they can manipulate. Now they'll come in and they'll trench this part by hand and they'll tie all this in, the same thing on the other end. And so um, uh, hopefully they'll be coming in the next few days to get that completed up. So uh, this kind of finishes up part three, which is getting the gas lines run. And then the last step obviously is getting it all connected uh, so we can do testing and turn on and actually get that bad boy to come to life. So I'm excited. Uh, if you guys didn't see, I will include at the end the video link at the end of this video uh, for the electrical hookup. That was a really cool thing if you guys missed it, so be sure to click that. Also, guys, if you're finding this information uh, hopefully entertaining uh, and informative, please don't forget to smack the subscribe. I uh, would appreciate it so much. Also, hit the like button and be sure and share with your friends. So for now, uh, this finishes up another project with Project Next One. And uh, always there's another one coming. So uh, be on the lookout for another video soon. For now, guys, thanks. Take care. And uh, we'll be talking to you soon. You guys have a great week coming up. And be safe. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Take care.